Oh, I forgot the bag of chips. So today's video, we're gonna go over some reasons why we bought this trailer. Okay, so one of the main things that we were looking for when we were searching for RVs was counter space. We really wanted to have enough space that we could have two places to stand and prep food and- So you can help me. Yep, so we can work together in the kitchen. So in most RVs, they usually have pretty much no counter space. If any, it's maybe one spot. Uh, most of the time they just have a sink and a stove top. That's and it. most of the time the sinks are very small. Yeah. They're round and small. So, we, I feel like we did really good with ours. It's a pretty small kitchen, but we still have two places to prep food or wash dishes or to lay mm -hmm. stuff. We also have a large sink. It's actually larger than our sink that we have in our old rental house. And we have a decent sized stove. <coughs> so the next thing that sold us on this trailer is the great amount of storage. It seems like they took every opportunity that they could and added doors, hanging space, um, compartments, you name it, they have it. It's awesome. I concur. Alright, the next thing was the slide out. So, the slide out is pretty awesome because we have enough room. Well, with it slid out, you have enough room for the dog to lay down and we can still walk around him. We have enough room to walk by each other and not be like right next to each other. Did you see what I did here? Yeah, it was pretty smooth. Uh, and the big thing for me was we wanted to see how the slide out looks when it's closed and with it being closed we still have full accessibility to everything in the RV which is awesome. The only thing that we can't do is fully extend the, the seats but you know. But you still have enough room to be able to go in to go to the bathroom and then still be able to get to the fridge, everything. Yep. Which is really crucial for me because if we want to- I need my snacks! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if we pull over somewhere we want to get into the RV and be able to get our food or use the bathroom. Also, we may stay somewhere overnight and we may not like, I don't know, a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Hopefully our moms are not listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, we may stop somewhere to stay maybe like public land or something like that but anyways uh we may not want to extend the slide out we may just want to go to sleep but we can still access our bed we can still sit on the chairs we can do everything that we need to do so that was pretty big yeah so the next thing i really like about this trailer is that there's three different areas for relaxing or working so we have the dinette which is wonderful it's got a really comfy chair on both sides you can fit two smaller people i would say on both sides you're you're very comfy next to the person but it actually has a beautiful huge window right next to it which is awesome and you feel productive and then you can also see outside and then we have this spot where we're sitting right now the two recliners um it's great got great storage underneath and it also it fully extends has heated seating massage which is basically like vibrating and then it's got these little lights that um will light up where the ring is for the cup holder so very comfy and then we off obviously have our bed as well and there's a curtain that separates the two rooms so i really like that because i'm highly introverted and even though i love spending time with matthew i think it's um I think it's really nice sometimes when I can have a little bit of alone time when I'm having my quiet time and just shut the shade and it's not I'm completely in a different area it's just I feel a little bit more cozy. So we also really liked the fridge in this trailer. It's got a great size fridge and a 
pretty decent sized freezer for a trailer. And it seems like we could probably get away with doing like two weeks in the trailer without having to go to the grocery store. Whereas other trailers would have much more like mini fridges almost and we would have to be super careful with what we purchase and, and how quickly we could use it and stuff. And we'd probably end up going to the grocery store a lot more too. And we have the separate freezer whereas most of the most oh, trailers yeah. have the fridge with the little tiny freezer inside of it. Which if if all you're doing is just camping for the weekend or a week at a time, you know, that would be fine, but we're living in this, so we want I mean, And we freeze a lot of the meats that we get. Like we'll get a big packet of them so it's a little bit more discounted. Yeah. Um and then repackage it and freeze it. All right, so the last and big thing, this was probably, this was the biggest thing to me. Yeah, um, especially when we were touring trailers. Yeah, so when you go to tour trailers, there is a lot of trailers that have a pretty horrible smell. It, they say it's from the formaldehyde that they use in gluing the cabinetry together. I don't really know exactly, you know, if that's right or not. Whatever, it's disgusting though, and it's, it's a so, very strong smell. It's almost nauseating how just bad it is. Like, I just being in with some of those trailers, especially if it's like it was like a warmer day or anything. Being in those trailers and it would just like it wasn't taking very long, and I felt like I had to get out because it was so. And that's bad. with us wearing our masks. Too. <laughs> yeah. So. The big thing that sold me on this trailer was walking in and not really having much of a smell. It had a little bit of a smell. I didn't really it notice it a, a whole much. Smell. It smelled more like a new vehicle mm -hmm. than anything else. It was definitely not a just horrible smell that you couldn't get over. Mm -hmm. uh, just say thanks for watching this video. Can I say a French or anything? Or the, the foliage. Voyage. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to know more about our adventure and what we end up doing, where we go and travel, like this video and subscribe. Don't you dare put that in the video. The parts of being the editor. <laughs> I would not have a notebook and pen in your hand. Yep, it's recording.